So let's have a look at the work plane tool and how you can use this to build upon an object. So I'm going to click the work plane tool here. And then notice that it allows me to choose one of the surfaces of my existing object to establish a new work surface. So I'm going to choose this side. Now I'm going to grab an object and it's going to now locate automatically on this new work surface that I've created. So just go ahead and make this much smaller so that it's the right size for my object here. And then I can move it along this new plane. And when I go to adjust the height, it's going to use that plane for that height adjustment too. So there I've shrunk that little star down perfectly so that it fits now on my cube using the work plane tool. You can easily continue to build on different surfaces of your object by clicking the work plane tool and then clicking on the side that you want to build on. So here I'm going to actually be building on top of my object. To return to the default view with your base grid at the ground, just click the grid tool and click down on the floor.